While no one is certain exactly what the Federal Reserve will do next, expectations are changing. One week ago, many economists said the central bank would likely hike rates in September. But a nearly 10 percent drop in the Dow Jones Industrial Average since then has caused sentiment to shift. So Steve Leisman has more now on the growing core of calls not to hike rates in September. Extreme gyrations in the stock market causing extreme gyrations in forecasts for the Federal Reserve's first rate hike as concerns grow beyond the market to the broader economy. Barclays making one of the more dramatic Fed calls on Wall Street today, pushing its expectations for the first Fed rate hike from September to March 2016. Barclays says the delay stems from Fed fears of destabilizing markets, tightening financial conditions and lower inflation than the Fed wants to see. John Sylvia of Wells Fargo says it's considering a similar move from a September call to the spring of 2016, as he grows increasingly worried about the real economic effects of the market meltdown on business. Business confidence will be negatively impacted. Clearly, firms are going to look at this and be less sure about their sales numbers and certainly less sure about any export growth they have into Asia, especially emerging market Asia. So I would suspect that business confidence will be reduced, and that will reduce capital spending. Consumer confidence in spending could also take a hit with Americans pulling back three to six months after they open what promised to be depressing statements on their stock, mutual fund, and pension holdings. The erosion in confidence could hurt housing as well, with uncertainty prompting some families not to take the plunge into a new home, even though mortgage rates decline. I've gotten several calls this morning uh, just uh, with a little bit of panic, you know, is, is now still the right time to buy? Uh, wh where is it going to end? What's the market going to look like? And uh, uh, being under contract, of course, while looking at your accounts, uh, so, uh, getting some losses or, or dealing with losses is, is certainly uh, a challenge. To be sure, the stock market is not the economy. Big downdrafts in the past have usually come along with already weak economic growth rather than ahead of it. And sometimes, like the white-knuckled nosedive in 1987, the economy just shrugs it off. But volatility like this can lead to a reduction in hiring. The case for a rate hike was never so solid that it could withstand a massive market plunge like this. Now, with concerns about economic growth and jobs and inflation, the Fed has good reason to wait, maybe, according to some on Wall Street now, until next spring. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.